Recently, I've been out at Howler Bike Park helping build a trail that is probably one of the toughest trails in our area. This thing is riddled with gnarly rock features all over the place. And in the last video, we added this massive jump. Now, just past this is a rock section that is really gorgeous and gnarly looking. We just all knew something had to be put in there that was extra cool. Miguel Trail Fabrications, who I'm working alongside, had already put in this small deck for a rock drop that bypasses the area for the faster folks. It's short and sweet to get you through fast, but we wanted something a little extra spicy for more adventurous riders as well. So after a bit of brainstorming and some time on the computer, this is what we came up with. A long jump that sends you into a steam bent on off wall ride that will sit about 20 feet in the air at its highest point. This thing was going to be huge and terrifying and I honestly wasn't sure anyone would ride it once it was finished. But oddly enough, a group of small children come ride the hell out of it when it's done. So let's get into building this terrifying feature so you can then watch an 11 year old child make it look like nothing. Do I look sick? You do. <laughs> now first things first, we need to gather lumber. Luckily for us, our local forests are overpopulated with cedar trees that work perfectly. And the more we thin them out, the more the other cedars around them will grow big and strong. So I simply work my way through the woods, grabbing ones here and there, and eventually I'll get everything I need without hardly leaving a trace. Each tree requires loads of cleanup, and since I try and cut down ones in more dense areas, they often get stuck in other treetops as well, so about half of them require a little extra assistance getting down. I'll take it. Once I've gotten all that I need, we'll then spend a few days peeling the bark off. We had fortune in our favor this time though, because not only did I have my new cameraman Ricky there to help me, but the cedar was peeling extra good this time of year. So. We we're actually able to take something that would normally take two weeks down to just about a few days. But then the rain came. And suddenly a week had gone by and we'd done nothing but sit inside. <laughs> Eventually though, the sun did come back out and we were more than ready to start standing up our wall ride. She was a shark smile in the yellow land. She came around and I stole the plants in my What we're doing here is getting the bedrock cleaned off and flattened out so I can install some metal plates that we'll attach our posts to. What's it doing? So these things, they've got like a little, um, it's like a tapered bracket that like you're supposed to bang it down to the drop or into the hole and it like grips the rock and as you pull the bolt up it's supposed to expand and like get stuck down in there gotcha. but it's not clearly catching anything because it's too loose right in other words the bolts that were supposed to attach to the rock were not attaching because nice. the rock was too soft we tried i really wasn't sure what i was going to do about this until i looked up and realized i was surrounded by both massive rocks and jeff in a massive excavator so i had jeff move these massive boulders into the place where my post needed to go because these rocks were much harder <laughs> Jeff really saved the day here. I had eight massive boulders thanks to him to attach all of the posts to, and we even pulled all the lumber that Ricky and I peeled up the hill so we could get to them when it was time to build. These things were so slick though that it made it nearly impossible to get them to stay up on the rocks. This one, I was almost 100% sure it was going through his windshield. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. 
After getting manhandled by the logs, the first thing I wanted to do the next day was set up a fake version of the bracing so that I knew exactly where these posts needed to go. I wasn't trying to screw around with these things any more than I had to. That's sweet. That's sweet. Got rounds going around in my head. <laughs> Got your supersonic beats mixing up my kids. So dance, little DJ, come on. What's your name? With the anchor plates on, all I needed to do now was prep the logs to be stood up, which meant cutting angles on the bottom of them and shaving their sides so they would fit in the post bases. Once I had that done, it was finally time to tackle standing these things up. No footage can convey to you how much work went into standing these up. But, man oh man, did it feel good to see them standing there. God damn! Sick. Come on, baby. Yes. Come on, baby. <laughs> the next day, we made sure to brace the hell out of everything so that there was no way they were going to fall down. <laughs> And then we got bare feet. All these boards on the posts are simply there so we have something to walk on. I'm making flat spots on our round lumber so our actual boards can span across and have something flat to sit against. To do this, I get two flat spots on each end of the wall and then I will run a string through to get the same heights on the middle posts. Once I've got the flat sections done, we'll then put in our actual boards that will span across. It was finally time to deck the wall ride. But like I said earlier, this is a steam bent wall ride, meaning we are going to curve all of the boards that we put onto it. To do this, I'll be steaming each board in this box for two hours each. Then we pull them out and with any luck, we'll be able to clamp them down to the wall. We weren't having much luck at first though. What the fuck? Yep, yep, it'll keep going. This first one was horrible, but we did manage to get it on. Now, the second one, we didn't even get halfway, and then it snapped on me. In this moment, I was reminded why I swore off steam bending on a previous build. I don't ever want to steam bend again. <laughs> but after sitting and thinking a while on what I could do to speed up this process, I came up with a faster way to bend the boards down so they wouldn't snap and we wouldn't have to muscle them on by hand. You see, the key to steam bending is getting that board bent as quickly as possible while it's still moist and hot. 
With the hand clamps, there was just no way of doing this. But with a winch and some boards tied to the back, I could pull the steam bent board down using the winch alone, which had much more power and speed than either of us could do. Man, this worked like a freaking charm. I can't believe it. This is so nice. Now, even though this worked much better and was way faster, we still had to wait two hours for each board to steam bend. So while each board was steaming, we started in on the ramp that would lead you into the wall ride. To start the ramp, I had to call on Jeff again because we needed to get the ramp lower into the ground for it to ride properly. To do that, we had to get a lot of dirt out of the way first. So Jeff used his excavator again to make my life way easier. And while he did that, I started on a secret project of my own. Someone waving around. Someone carried me home. What was never noticed? Sleeping on the floor. But I know we live. Someone playing me around. Before I got finished with my secret project, Jeff realized we were gonna need to bring in the big guns if we wanted to get this dirt down any further because the dirt was actually rock. So we went ahead and rented a jackhammer attachment for the excavator and got to work. <laughs> took the whole weekend with all of us in rotation taking turns hammering the rock out. During that time, we were also able to get a few more boards bent and I even got part of my project finished. We were making good progress on the wall ride, but I realized a little too late that our rock wasn't down quite far enough for the ramp still. We didn't have the jackhammer anymore either, so any rock work at this point had to be done by hand. We managed though, and I just decided I would bite the bullet and do everything I could to get the posts of this ramp up. nearly done. I just needed to carve out the radius on these boards so we had a nice smooth transition for the jump. If you recall, I designed all of this on my computer, so the only thing I needed to do was put those measurements onto these boards and then carve out that radius. And if I did everything right, when we put the deck boards on, we should have a nice smooth looking jump.
finish up, I decided to try and cut the boards along the rock's edge to give it a cool look, but half of the rock was gravel, so it was tough to do anything that looked any decent. We did, however, steam bend the last 10 or so boards on the ramp so that it didn't stair step up on the ends like this. All that was left now was to clean up all of our edges on the decking, install one more lightning bolt, and then test this thing. I'm gonna need someone to help me. I'm gonna need somebody's pain. I'm gonna need someone to hold me down. I'm gonna need someone to care. My hands are breaking, hands are shaking, bouncing, are crawling all over me. My hands are aching. My hands are shaking, mugs are crawling all over me. Son of a